Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and this is the eighth and final video in my series on the books review feature in QuickBooks Online Accountant. And this video is going to cover the wrap up section and then I'm going to provide some of my final thoughts over this eight week series. So anyway, I'm going to spend very little time on the wrap up because there's not a whole lot of stuff in here to look at. And I want to spend the majority of my time talking about my final thoughts. But before I jump in and do that, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel, share it with others. I primarily provide content for accountant users of QuickBooks Online and desktop platforms. But any of you who like my content and want to subscribe, well, you're welcome to join me. So anyway, with that said, we are in my Kathy's bookkeeping test file. And as you can see, I'm in the wrap up tab and there are basically three areas in the summary tasks area that you can do in this section. And basically the first one is that you can actually prepare reports. And basically, if you click on the select button, what it's going to do, it's going to give you a drop down whether or not you want to go into the basic company financials or the expanded company financials. Or if you have any other reports that you have customized, they would show up in this. So let's say if you wanted to go to the expanded company financials, you click on that and open. It's going to go to that page. So that way you can modify this. So that way you can send that out to your client or you can send it out as is if you've already perfected it the way that you want it to perfect and just make sure all your pages are in there and everything and then you can actually save and send and all of that other stuff down here. Or actually you can export it and all this other stuff. So we're gonna get out of that and go back to our main area here. And when the, of course, once you get done with that, you click on done to mark that as done. So we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, and then the second area is you can send the report package, and then that's basically similar to what we did before, but this opens up, it looks like in a new tab, where it actually opens up into the management reports area. And again, it takes you to this same area, basically the same thing that we did on the first one, which is kind of a little redundant, I think, but it does give you the uh, capability to create a management report if you haven't done so already preview those reports and then you can do the same thing you can edit send export as pdf export as a word doc or duplicate to create an additional reports and save those in here so i'm going to go ahead and close out this tab and go back and then the final thing you can do is you can go ahead and close the book so when you click on and let me go ahead and mark that as done as well all right so you can go ahead and close the books if you actually want to go ahead and close the books. Now, some of my clients, I have to close their books on a monthly or quarterly basis because they'd like to go in there and mess with things after everything has been done for that monthly statement cycle. So you can do that. You can go in here and this will take you actually to the advanced tab in the accounts and settings in QuickBooks Online, where you can go up here and under the accounting area, you can go ahead and close the books. Now, what I recommend is if you're going to close the books, you're going to go ahead and put your closing date. Let's say we're going to close the month of July. So you want to put that as your closing date. And then you also want to put a warning and enter a password. And this password would be something that you would not divulge to them. So that way they don't go in there and mess it up. There's a lot of people say, well, you should share the password with them. Nah, not if they're one of those that mess things up and everything. So of course, if you turn over the file to them, you would probably want to at least change those settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and exit without saving. And then I'm going to go close this back and that'll take us back to this page here. So now I want to give you some of my final thoughts. I love this books review feature. It's come a long way and there's a lot of good uses for it, which I have talked about in the past few videos, but there are some limitations that I've noticed and we've talked about these. So first of all, some of the areas have some redundancies and duplication. Example, the additional items area, I feel like instead of having them under each tab, like they currently have them now, would be best put in their own tab and maybe put in between the account reconciliation and the final review area. So that way you can have all your additional items in there and in one place. And that way you can deal with them. And related to that, 
there needs to be a way to organize that information in the additional items area because as of right now if you go back over here to the transaction review and you see all the different things in here when you add stuff to these lists down here you cannot move them around or anything like that it would be nice to be able to move things around because you may have priorities that come before these things that need to be moved up to the top of the list and right now you can't do that going back to the wrap up tab and then some other things that i've noticed is that some of the tabs could be better organized or combined for instance under the final review right now they have parked the unusual or unexpected balances in the accounts payable and then the accounts receivable. And those ideally could probably be moved to either transaction review or maybe have their own tab, maybe either before or after transaction review, maybe have their own separate area that and their own separate tab. So that would be one of the things that I would recommend as well. So anyway, these are some of the, my thoughts. I don't know if you agree with them or not, but that's from my use of it. I think that these are some reasonable things. And these are some suggestions that I've offered to Intuit as well. And they may reach out to you if you talk about some of these things, which they did with me. So I will tell you that they have listened to a lot of what we have been telling them about this feature. And they're in the process of trying to revise some of these features. So in the future, don't be surprised when you see some new things being added and enhanced to this area. So anyway, you can always submit your feedback. You can e either do it from this hot link here, or you can always go to the big gear icon, click on that, and then click on feedback and let them know your thoughts on this. And who knows, you might get approached to provide feedback to them and let them know what you think about some of the changes that they're talking about doing for this. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this series. Y'all take care, everyone. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you soon.